Hey, good morning, guys. This morning, I want to make a video uh, once again in GNS3. I want to show you guys how to get GNS3 connected to the internet. So, we'll build a start off with a small topology, make sure we can connect that to the internet, and then we'll maybe expand that um, inward as far as the topology. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is grab a layer 3 device. So, here we have a Cisco 7200 router. And you're also going to want to use the NAT device. Uh, this should be included by default in GNS3 version, I believe it's 2.0 and up. I'm running 2.2.32. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's just verify our interfaces here. Um, let's go ahead and add another fast Ethernet. And then we'll add our internal slots here. So all you're going to want to do is get this cabled up to the NAT device. So let's go ahead and use fast zero zero for that. Connect it to the NAT. And then power on your router. and get console in <sighs> coffee yes okay looks like this is getting fired up here router one let's take a look at our interfaces All right, so GNS3 has made this pretty straightforward to get internet access. Um, all we're gonna wanna do is configure the interface that's connecting to the NAT, which we set as fast ethernet 00, for DHCP. So let's go ahead and do that. IP address and DHCP, no shut. And if we give that a minute, it should acquire a DHCP address from the NAT device. While we wait, we can go ahead and enable. Oops, we can enable DNS lookups for testing. So domain dash lookup should enable us to. Got the wrong command there, guys. Bear with me. Sorry about that, guys. Only one cup of coffee so far. It's IP domain lookup. And while we were waiting, we see that we did acquire a DHCP address. We will go ahead and verify that. Show IP interface brief. And we do have a DHCP acquired address on that fast Ethernet 00. So that is about it. We should be able to ping out to the internet. Yes. And with the domain lookup enabled, we should be able to ping for example, google.com. Yes, we can. So GNS3 is effectively talking to the internet at this point. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and expand the topology. <coughs> Maybe throw a uh, VPC on there, a virtual PC, and make sure we can ping out to the internet with that. So we'll get a switch going here. And you know what, to maybe expand this lab to a little more uh, realistic of an environment, let's add another router and we'll treat this as like the edge router. <clears throat> and I'll show you guys how to um, enable NAT overload or PAT so that this router can also get um, internet access for all the clients that it serves. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We'll give this guy another fast ethernet interface. Give him some inside interfaces. And then router two will connect to our internal clients down here on the switch. And then it will feed upstream to router one for its outside connectivity. 
So we'll cable that up. We'll put a PC here. And I showed you guys in a previous video how to do uh, multiple VLANs on the switch and then sub interfaces here so that you can create a trunk. Uh, we won't walk through that right now. We'll just leave everything on the default VLAN, but obviously you could do that in the same scenario. So you could have multiple VLANs here and they would all have internet access. Okay, so now we need to get router 2 powered up and console into that guy. So we'll put router 2 over here, router 1 is over here. And we're going to need to create a a subnet for these for this connection here between router 1 and router 2 so let's go ahead and make note of that here we'll call this the 10.1.1.0/24 network and router 2 can have dot 2 router 1 we'll give them dot 1 oops one. Okay, and then we'll need a separate network for the client side over here. So let's go ahead and um, just create whatever network here. We can create like a 10.20. This will be 10.20.10.0 slash 20. Let's move that over. And then we will say this guy is dot one. Okay, now that we've got some notes there to go off of, let's see if we can't drag this console over. And so router one has that outside address <clears throat> via DHCP so now we need to configure fast ethernet 1.0 for that um, connection that's feeding the internal router so interface fast 1 slash 0 IP address 10.1.1.1 no shut okay let's do the same router 2 interface fast I think that's going to be zero, 0 let's make sure yes that's zero, 0 there for router 2 IP address 10.1.1.2 255.255.255.0 no shut okay show IP interface brief so we should be able to ping between routers now ping 10.1.1.1 yes we can ping that but we probably cannot ping outside yet so if we look at router 1 can't ping that outside interface yet <coughs> so let's set the default route on this router IP route and we'll point it to router 1 
now we can ping that outside interface. So router 2 now knows how to get to the outside interface of router 1. And router 1 sends the traffic back. <coughs> so let's just verify we still have internet pinging outside on router 1. Can we ping outside on router 2? We cannot. The reason for that is we need to enable NAT or NAT overload, aka PAT, on router 1. This NAT device doesn't have any um, routing protocol, so it doesn't know how to get back here. So in order to accommodate that, we have to enable NAT on router 1. <coughs> it's pretty straightforward. You're going to enable NAT inside on this interface and NAT outside on the outside interface. So I believe this is fast Ethernet. Zero one zero and this is zero zero yes so we're looking at interface fast one zero which is that inside connection there you know what we can uh, just reference here to clarify that so one zero is the inside zero zero is the outside so on the inside, we're going to do IP NAT inside. And then we're going to jump to the outside. IP NAT outside. Okay. And now we need to tell it what we're going to NAT. So now that we've set the interfaces, we can back up to global config. We're going to do IP NAT inside source list, so you're going to tell it what to match, one, and we'll create that ACL in one second, interface, I'm sorry, fast, zero, zero, overload, and now we'll create our access list, one, and we'll just match everything, permit any. happen there standard one permit uh, so we have to drop into the ACL mode first okay so now we're going to do permit any and that should work let's take a look over here And look at that, we can now get out to the internet from router 1. I'm sorry, from router 2. So now this connection is being NATted by this outside interface. Actually, any connection, since we did an ACL, it said any. And that way the traffic is able to go out and come back because of the PAT. So if we set an IP on this guy, let's take a look at PC1. Should be able to get out to the internet. So we're going to want to give him an address on that 10.20. Let's make sure we have that configured here. We did not set that up yet. Okay, so let's jump down to that inside interface. Interface fast 10 IP address 10.20.10.1. No shot. Confirm that. Okay, it's up. So that will be. PC's default gateway. Uh, let's see, PC is just IP and then 10.20.10. Uh, let's give this guy 10 slash 24. And his default gateway will be dot one. Let's see if he can ping his default gateway. 10.20.10.1. Yes, he can. Let's see if he can ping out to Google. He cannot, and I think that's because we have forgotten to put a default route here. Let's check that. Should I be route? No, it is there.
Okay. <clears throat> this guy doesn't know how to get back, I believe. Yes. Okay. It's early, folks. One cup of coffee. Show IP route. We're not running a route, routing protocol here, so what it is is um, we forgot to tell router one how to get back to that 1020 subnet. So if we just configure a static route, uh, IP route 10.20.10.0 10 slash 24. To get there, buddy, you're going to want to go back to router 2, which is 10.1.1.2. Okay, he should know how to get back now. Boom, and now we're pinging. So that is how you configure uh, internet access in GNS3. Again, you gotta be running at least version two. Pretty straightforward, and as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot to extend that down into, if you wanted to build out like a LAN here, have multiple VLANs, internal devices, and have them be able to connect to the internet. I hope this has been helpful. Um, thinking about making another video where I actually integrate a VMware VM and maybe do some ACLs and show you guys how to block traffic um, now that we have internet access in the GNS3 lab. So again, hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching guys. Until the next one, take care.